This is a quick video about the dust cloud filmed near the intersection during the Las Vegas shooting. Recently, Mr. Burgundy published a video, showing a dust cloud behind a wall near the intersection. Down lower, lower, lower. Hey, lower. Sounds like a car. Do you see the gun smoke? Hey, he's, he's low. You can see shit happening? There have been questions where the dust is coming from, with one possible source being a bus at the nearby bus stop. Clues in the video, namely the Luxor beam. And the nearby utility pole. Tell us where the possible locations of the dust cloud in 3D are. In this animation, the string of the dusty gray sphere shows all those possible locations. As we can see, the viewing angle is so steep that the only plausible location where the dust is near any object or the ground, is just behind the wall. In the rooftop clips, we can see that there are no drones or helicopters hovering in the air. In a top view, we can see that the bus stop is too far north from all possible locations. Also, if we look directly north, we can see that the possible locations are too high to come from a bus without being part of a tall plume of smoke. The only plausible location for the dust is therefore above this landscaping area, just behind the wall. In the body cam clips, we can see that there are no shooters hiding there. Go behind that wall. You Get out. There's also a man in a hat who's peeking over the wall and who would notice anyone hiding there. Since the dust cloud is correlated with gunfire, but is otherwise absent, it's most likely dust being kicked up by bullets hitting this dirt patch. What's making the dust much more visible from this particular angle, is the forward scatter effect explained previously. We have a strong light source off to the side, illuminating the dust, but the camera itself is in the shadow. The same dust may not have been visible from other angles, for example in the Raymond Page video, even if the cameraman got as far as that spot. It's more likely the bullets are hitting the ground and not the wall. Many of the hiding people have their backs against the wall. If bullets were hitting it, these people would probably feel some vibration, if not more, and say something about it. The dust seems to be slowly drifting to the northeast. This would confirm the historical data showing a weak wind from the southwest. What's probably happening, is that the bullet impacts kick up dust, which the wind then gently pushes against the corner of the wall, and the dust ends up climbing over it. The people hiding here should be glad that they found a wall, that Paddock was a bad shot, and that he apparently sprayed this area more or less randomly. If he was actually a good marksman and used a scope, he could have easily shot idiots like this guy. Who knows, perhaps bullets from that volley could still be found here with a metal detector.